uh, you know, traditionally the record enable button of a tape machine would stay latched on, right? So you can, so that way you can latch several buttons and then be able to multi-track record across multiple tracks all simultaneously, right? So that meant that if you were in a situation where you were recording yourself doing one track at a time, like vocalists do this, all the vocalists I'm working with, they're like one microphone, interface, several audio tracks like this. A lot of us like to multi-track or track across multiple vocal tracks and then do combinations into a comp track type of thing. So what, you're wind up, what you wind up with is having to turn one on and then turn it off to then turn another one on to go onto the next track to record, then turn this one off and then turn that one on. So you're doing the old school tape machine mentality. So <clears throat> they've introduced a new record latch feature under the uh, preferences. So if you go to the operations tab of preferences, then over at, um, on the right hand side where you have the record area for preferences, you have this record enable buttons option of what it actually does and how it operates, right? So the default, the way it's always worked and all tape machines work is called latch audio tracks. So they stay latched on until you physically turn them off. You can actually set this to work like the way MIDI tracks do, which is it cancels the previous record enable when you go to the next audio track. So by doing cancel previous audio, it's what I think singular individuals recording themselves would probably like, because now you can record across multiple tracks, and just by record enabling another one, it cancels the previous record enable. So you, you can just kind of skip that one little step of, oh yeah, I forgot to disable record on the previous track, because otherwise you're like, oh, I'm recording on this one and both, and then I hit record and I'm like, oh crap, I'm recording across both, and you might not want to do that. You might want to stagger checkerboard the recording across multiple tracks in segments, and then just go one at a time. So they finally introduced this, because this is the way that, that uh, instrument and MIDI tracks have worked since day one. Like MIDI tracks do this, where they intentionally disable the previous MIDI track record. Instrument tracks are the same thing. But audio tracks always stuck to the traditional record uh, tape machine mentality up until now. So um, yeah, this is a very handy feature for the singular musician, songwriter, person, dialogue artist recording themselves and having to, to do multiple takes across multiple tracks. Now, the only thing that this doesn't do so let me just cancel and go back out of here, is if you are dealing with um, like MIDI tracks, right? Because MIDI tracks and audio tracks are like two different things. So <clears throat> the option, or the preference I should say, is disable record on previous record enabled audio tracks, right? which it does. But notice that it leaves any MIDI tracks open for record. So you could still accidentally be tracking across other tracks that you don't intend to. So <clears throat> with that last option, it's the same mentality, except that it applies it to all tracks, meaning instrument and MIDI tracks, they also will forcibly disable the record enable button when you record enable a new audio track. Right. So same thing, just applying not just to audio tracks, but to all tracks. So I've got like the MIDI track enabled, and now I record enable an audio track, and it forcibly disables the MIDI track. Right. So it all works cohesively as a end all be all record disable previous track. Uh, if you don't see that button the way it looks on mine, then you have to upgrade your software because this was introduced in 2020.9, like it was just released in the past three weeks, two weeks. So in the 2020.5, which was the previous version, this was not there yet. So it was just the old school record buttons and, and uh, operational stuff. So this is a 2020.9 and above feature.